how's everyone doing? Uh, if you are new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back and I missed you. Um, just a quick disclaimer, everything on this channel is for entertainment purposes only and meant to inspire you to try things out for yourself. I'm not a dentist or a doctor, so I don't give medical or dental advice here. Again, it's just for entertainment purposes only. These are my opinions. Sharon is Karen, and so I'm sharing because I care. <laughs> um, okay, so I got, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm shaking, you guys. So I got a comment uh, last week about one of our community friends who will be going um, for extractions and new placement of dentures and wanted to kind of know what to expect and what uh, she's gonna need. I just whistled, there's a dog, the dogs are coming. <laughs> the dogs are coming. Um, but what she's gonna need post-op. Um, and again, I say post-op because having a mouth full of teeth and then having them extracted surgically by your dentist, it's an operation, it's a surgery. So that's why I say post-op. Um, it's something that you will have to heal and recover from. So I will start at the beginning and work my way to the end of everything that I did post-op. Um, and even some pre-op stuff to kind of get ready for it. Um, so here we go. Uh, pre-op, um, I just did a lot of relaxing <laughs> and keeping calm. Um, one of the things you don't want to have happen uh, pre-op is your blood pressure to go up, uh, having anxiety and things. That's normal, but you don't want it to affect your blood pressure because unstable blood pressure levels during any surgery is not good. Um, and you're not in a position where you have emergency room you know, personnel there to help you if you get into trouble. Um, so keeping calm is number one making sure that you are completely and totally relaxed um, helps. What helped me relax is knowing that mm, I only had to do this one time and afterwards I was going to get these. <laughs> I was going to get these. <laughs> so I was like really happy about it and excited. A little nervous, but I kind of, being in the healthcare industry and as a nurse, I kind of know what to expect. Um, going into surgeries, and I know what to expect coming out of surgery. So I wasn't that that uh, anxious or nervous. I was more excited than anything. Um, one of the things that you're going to want to do and make sure that you do is consult your dentist and let your dentist know if you're on any medications. Um, also consult your doctor. I feel like so few people consult their doctors before going into, you know, the dentist and having some type of oral surgery. It really helps um, with the continuity of care after um, the surgery if you're talking to your doctor ahead of time. That way your doctor can kind of, you know, piggyback off of your dentist, on your dentist and, and help you out with those types of things post-op. So it's good to talk to both your doctor and your dentist. I did, for sure. Um, and everything went pretty smoothly uh, for me for the most part. Um, so talk to your dentist about any medications you're on, especially if you're on anything like blood thinners, ginger peels, water pills, high blood pressure medication, things like that, that's gonna affect your blood pressure. Um, <clears throat> and if you're on anything else, like diabetic medication, you know, they don't want you to eat before you go in to have any type of surgical procedures done, just in case you, you know, have a little bit of an issue with vomit, you don't wanna aspirate or choke or have that go into your lungs, that's, that's problematic. So they ask that you don't eat um, before surgery, I think it's like eight out, six to eight hours before surgery, um, eating is off the table. So just make sure you talk to your dentist and let your dentist know if you are diabetic, especially when it comes to wound care for diabetics healing post-op. It's very important that your dentist knows all of the things that you have going on. Um, and then again, speak with your doctor so that your doctor can work in tandem with your dentist to make sure that you have the best possible outcome after your surgery or your extractions. Um, what to expect during the extractions. 
honestly, I don't know. We're, everybody is different. Um, I was awake the whole time for mine, so um, I kind of knew everything that was going on. Yes, there was pain involved, but after the numbing was done, there was no pain anymore. Um, so for me, I opted to not go under general anesthesia. I just opted for some nitrous and Novocaine. Whatever you opt for is, is your decision and your choice. But going into it, there is a little bit of pain. If you're going to be awake, um, there will be some pain involved with the numbing shots because they have to break through your palates. Um, what else? Immediate placement of dentures. I am kind of not a fan of it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not. A, I was, you know, in the beginning before I went in and got everything done, I was a fan of having uh, your dentures placed immediately um, after your extractions over the extraction sites. Here's why I'm no longer a fan of that. Um, and honestly, I'm kicking myself in the pants because as a nurse, I should have known better. Um, but I kind of wanted to get the instant gratification of having that smile in there right away. So I opted to have them place it um, immediately after surgery. Um, I'm not a fan of that because there's going to be a massive amount of swelling. Um, swelling of the gums, you have sutures in your gums from where they had to do some incisions to remove teeth that were in the bone, yada, yada, yada. The swelling, um, it feels like there's a vice grip on your gums and sometimes putting your dentures immediately on your surgical sites afterwards um, while you're going through the healing process and the swelling is not the best idea in the world. Um, especially if you suffer from things like, you know, blood clots or if you suffer from uh, excessive bruising, you don't want to be putting those dentures immediately on a surgical site after they're done pulling out all your teeth. Um, so if you are able to wait at least a week before putting those dentures in, wait a week before getting those dentures placed on. Um, I took mine home with me because I had them on when I left the, the dentist's office, but I ended up having to take them off. And you can actually watch the video of what to expect. Um, and it, it actually gives you, uh, my E-Day gives you a, a complete <laughs> uh, account of what, you know, I experienced in terms of the swelling and having to take my dentures out because they were just too tight on my gums and it was actually hindering healing so um, I'm not a fan of having them placed immediately on wait a week if you can that's just you know my personal opinion um, it's what I did and I absolutely loved the process everything about it went really smoothly so wait a week if you can but five to seven days um, so that swelling can start going down and then they can start placing those dentures on top because by then the dissolvable sutures will have dissolved out. You'll be able to just put them right on without having to worry about, oh my gosh, if I take these off with the clots on them, they're going to snatch out my sutures. You don't want that. Um, plus, you run the risk of dry socket if, well, if you have to remove them to do any, you know, excessive rinsing or anything like that, extra rinse, rinsing, I would say, um, you run the risk of dislodging those clots in there. So if you can wait a week, wait a week, it's worth it. Um, the healing is a lot more comfortable without that vice grip <laughs> on top of your gums while they're swollen and bleeding and just, ugh, you don't want it. Um, so after the extractions are done and you're going home, you're going to be bleeding a lot. You're going to need some gauze. A lot. <laughs> a lot of gauze. Um, one of the, oh, there's something flying around, sorry. One of the things that, um, one of the tricks for changing out your gauze, and this is just my nurse mind coming in here, my nurse skills coming in. Um, you are going to want to make sure that your gauze is completely saturated. So before you remove your gauze out of your mouth, you want to make sure that you put some water in your mouth 
Um, you don't have to swish, but just saturate the gauze. The gauze is gonna absorb the water anyways. If you saturate it at the tips while they're in there, it's gonna absorb the water anyways. So make sure that your gauze is completely saturated with water before you go and uh, remove it because you're gonna dislodge the clots and you don't want that to happen. That's where dry socket comes in. Um, so gauze, you'll need a lot of gauze. Kleenex or tissue, you're gonna need a lot of that because you are gonna have quite a bit of drool um, and you're gonna have some, some you know, runny mouth, so you wanna be able to wipe that off. Um, you don't wanna spit, you don't wanna drink through a straw. Spitting can uh, create a vacuum suction in your mouth and it causes your, um, your blood clots to dislodge. So no spitting, that's off the table for a while. Uh, and no drinking through a straw, that's off the table for a while too. Wiping is perfectly okay. So if you have an overflow of saliva and blood in your mouth and you need to let it drain out, hold your head forward, open your mouth, let it drain out and just wipe it away, wipe it away, wipe it away. Um, for the first 72 hours, 48 to 72 hours, your dentist is probably going to tell you no swishing. And that's absolutely true. You have to give those blood clots a chance to uh, set in place and lock themselves in and create a plug in that socket. Um, by all means, follow your dentist's um, post-op orders to the letter. Whatever they're telling you to do, it's definitely necessary. So do those things. These are just tips. Um, and these are just some of the things that I did that helped me along the way during the healing process. So you'll need tissue. Um, if you opt to have your dentures immediately placed, after about a week, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna get to a point where you need to take them out and clean them. Um, so you'll need denture tabs to soak them in, or if you don't want to use denture tabs, the baking soda and water mix. Um, a quick kit that I used, and I didn't get a whole lot of stuff, honestly. I just like put together a couple things. Um, denture cup, just a regular old plastic cup. I don't really, I didn't invest in like denture cups. I just got like little plastic cups. So um, denture cup denture tabs, um, definitely some mints because it helps with the saliva. Um, chapstick, denture brush, and some gauze, and your tissue. Um, what, so I'll get into the water bottle and how you what you can get to assist with eating in just a second but I still have this I used it once wasn't impressed but it's the fresh and bright denture cleaning paste I just use regular Castile soap like I said <laughs> so you can try it if you want denture bright cushion grip because I have a small mouth and the dentures were so big um, when my gums started to shrink up they didn't want to fit so mm, cushion grip love this stuff mm. um, and then for those of you who would like to try some adhesive this is the one that I've used um, and I actually like it if I ever had to use adhesive again I would definitely use this um, the secure adhesive because it's waterproof it doesn't give you the stringiness of some of the other ones and it doesn't give that powder stuck on feel when the denture adhesive is wearing off, you know it because it turns into like a pasty jelly substance that you can just brush off or rinse right out of your mouth. Love this stuff. So that was my kit. Oh, and don't forget your trusty ice pack. This is an ice pack that this one actually goes like this and it went over and it, oops. It goes, over, <laughs> it goes over and it snaps on top like this. And this actually helped with the swelling because the pressure of keeping it tight on here helped a lot. But then the ice around in here all the way up to your face here, it really helps. So you'll need an ice pack. I just got this on Amazon. I think it was like six bucks, Amazon. 
everything that you see here that I'm, I'm saying, I actually got on Amazon for really, really cheap. So, um, about the eating portion of it, um, I know how serious infection can be, and I know that I didn't... I didn't want to contaminate uh, any of the surgical sites in my mouth. I had 26 of them. Um, each uh, extraction is a surgical site. It's not just one surgical site. You have a bunch of small surgical sites in a whole <laughs> in a whole mouth. So um, I didn't want to contaminate any of the surgical sites post-op. So I got something that didn't require me to touch any part of anything uh, while I was trying to eat this. This little thing, I, I kind of lucked up and found it. I was looking for a way to be able to eat and not um, have to, you know, kind of go on to a spoon or anything. Uh, so I found this. This is a measuring, it's a funneled measuring cup. And it comes with a little funnel already. So you just kind of pour it like that. Um, my soups, my broths, um, my purees, everything, protein shakes, all of that got put right in here <laughs> and like that. And now I just use it for cooking. <laughs> um, for water, water bottle. I, I get a lot of water bottles. I didn't want to um, have a water bottle that was like reusable. Um, and I actually had one, but I didn't like it. Um, I had the sports um, water bottle drink, at most, the sports water bottle um, that kind of squirts into your mouth. It was, it's actually called a Perry Cleaner. And um, I was using that, but I didn't really like it because I felt like it came out at too high of a pressure and I didn't want it to dislodge um, any of my um, blood clots. So I just poked a hole in the top of my water bottle and like that. Um, but that's it. That, those are all of the things that I used for post-op. Um, I did do some gum exercise, some gum massages and some facial exercises and stretches. Um, and I will just refer you back to that video. At the end of this video, there will be a link to that video, the gum exercise video, the gum massage video that you can click on, and uh, it'll be helpful for healing. Gum massages, massages in general, moves the blood around. It allows blood circulation to flow uh, through and to the surgical or wound sites. Um, bringing life-giving oxygen, red blood cells, and all of that good kind of stuff to the surface so that it can um, energize that tissue and start the healing process. So gum massages are very important, but you can't do it until they've already closed over. Um, you can do it on the outside like this, but when you're going on the inside of your mouth, those have to close over. So it'll be about a week and a half before you can actually go in and start doing that oral massage. Um, but it's helpful. You should try it. That's it. That's what I did. I hope that this has been helpful to you guys. When, the ones that anyone who's getting ready for their um, extractions, uh, counting down to E Day. I hope this helps. I will put a list of things that I used um, post op um, towards the end of this video. Um, and I'll also put it down in the description so you can see that list of that oral massage video will be linked at the end of this video. You guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It is absolutely free. It doesn't cost it. You're here. You're here anyways. You might as well subscribe. <laughs> it doesn't cost anything at all to subscribe and hit that like um, button. And it doesn't cost anything to hit that bell icon either so that you get notified anytime I, I post some crazy videos. I make a lot of mistakes and I don't edit very much because this is just the real me and I'm not perfect. So I don't want to pretend to be perfect. I am human. I am flawed. I have all, I make mistakes um, just like everyone else. So what you see is what you get edit free. I love you guys so much. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, loving on me. 
all of that good stuff. I love you right back. Bye.